It was 1.30 again, and there Johnny sat at the window, staring out. He could hear the familiar tune of the ice cream truck coming down the road. All he could do was sit and watch. All the other kids in the neighborhood seemed to be able to go and buy ice cream. He never understood it. His mom's clothes always seemed a little drabbier than everyone else's, her hair not as neat and crimped. He never seemed to get the new toys. And every day, he could see those kids running out to the ice cream truck. There was Bobby, out there to get his fudge sundae again. Every day, he could probably use a few days off from that fudge sundae. So Johnny sighed and thought to himself, maybe if I ask mom again, she'll give me that dollar I need for the ice cream. So he went to his mother. Mother, can I get the dollar today for just a nice piece of ice cream like the other boys? Johnny, I'm sorry. I just can't give you the dollar. You'll just have to go without. Or, if you really want it, maybe you can ask around and do chores around the neighborhood, and then people will give you the money you need. So Johnny was encouraged. He thought, all right, I'll try that. I'll go around the neighbors and talk to them and see if I can pick up sticks, and maybe they'll give me some change, and then I can get my ice cream. So he started his laps around. He knocked on the neighbors' houses' doors. Oh, hi, little Johnny. How can I help you today? Well, I'd like to pick up some sticks and things around your yard in exchange for some money so I can buy some ice cream. Oh, uh, well, Johnny, times are tough these days, and really, we don't need anyone to pick up the sticks. All right, I guess that's okay. So it went, Johnny went to each neighbor, knocking on the door, and asking if he could do a few chores to get some money for ice cream. But each of the neighbors disagreed, saying, no, we just don't have the extra money. So Johnny went back to his mother. Mom, I tried. Is there any way I can get a dollar for the ice cream? Well, Johnny, the bigger your why, the higher you fly. Maybe getting money for ice cream just isn't enough. So the days continued to pass. 1.30 was the same every day. Johnny just sat, looking out the window, staring at all the other kids enjoying their ice cream and thought, why not me? But then something changed. Johnny's mom wasn't as chipper as she was before. She started to cough and wheeze, and she seemed down. Even though the weather was good, she always seemed to be sweating and just upset stomach, not feeling well. But she knew that she needed some medicine, and Johnny knew as well, but they couldn't afford the medicine. It was going to be another $50, and if they didn't have a dollar for ice cream, how could they have any money for the medicine? So Johnny decided, though, I'm going to go out and talk to the neighbors again. And this time, I'm going to try and raise the money for my mom's medicine. So he went to his neighbors and knocked on the door. Oh, Johnny, I told you, we don't have any money for you to get ice cream. Oh no, Miss Nancy, it's not for ice cream today. My mom is deeply sick and she needs some medicine. I'd love to do any chores I can just to help earn some money to help pay for it. It's fifty dollars and we just can't afford it. Oh, well if that's the case, then absolutely Johnny, we'd love to help. Here's ten dollars, just go around and pick up some sticks and clean up the yard a little bit. And so it went. Johnny went to each neighbor and now they had a different tune. Each time they offered to give him some money to help for his mother's medicine in exchange for a few different things around the yard. And very quickly, Johnny earned enough money for his mom's medicine. He was happy as he presented it to her, and she was thrilled to see it. But she was even more thrilled because she said to Johnny, you see, Johnny, just like I said to you before, the larger your why, the higher you fly. 
people are inspired by a big cause. So Johnny gave her the money, the $50 that he had raised, and she was able to get the medicine. And she was able to drink it and feel better. And Johnny thought when 1.30 came the next day, and he looked out. This time it was different. He had a smile on his face. Because even though the other kids were getting ice cream, he had learned the lesson. Sometimes your why, doing something for somebody else, or something more important than just a tree, determines how high you can fly. And I think it's a lesson we can all learn. Mr. Jackson.